What's up people, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to another vlog of Daring Whips. Today is the day that I'm going to be tuning my uh, F30 328i 2013 with the JB4. As you guys already know, I had a dine and tune on this car. And uh, last week I did the oil chain and everything. Alright guys, I'm going to be walking you guys through how to do the JB4 tune. Because I've searched some videos. There are some videos explaining you, but not really the way that I wanted to explain. Or I wanted explanation to like you know show me how, how it's been done. So I had to search up and go Google. So I don't want I don't want you to guys be going on Google and search up. So I'll just make a video for you guys. Why the fuck not? And uh, yeah, so the equipment that you guys need is you're gonna need this T50 and you're gonna need this socket, that's 10, the smaller one, and you're gonna need a socket that's uh, 13. And obviously you're gonna need the wrench and you're gonna need something that's like sharp like this because unless you want to bust your fingers because yeah this is gonna come in handy and I'll show you why in a little bit here okay this is the JB4 that I bought as you guys already know that my car is a 328 I 2013 and uh, so on the 328 you actually don't need these two wires the blue one and this black one you're gonna actually only plug in the brown one and this uh, colorful one so you're gonna plug those two in and red wire is gonna give you the electricity for your tune and the blue wire is gonna be so blue and red wires are where you, your tune is gonna get the electricity to you know running for running and this is your actually the Bluetooth controller some people don't buy this I actually bought it because I got a pretty good deal with the whole JB4 he actually sold it to me like $200 but yeah, uh, so this is a JB4 and uh, I bought it used and this is actually the Bluetooth and this is the JB4 and these are the wires that go in. Yeah, I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you guys through and where to connect those two and how to do it and uh, where to connect those two wires. These two wires are only for the 320. I don't have a 320 with me so I can't really show you where these goes but you could always search up another video. I'm pretty sure there's a shit ton of other ones. So the first thing you want to do is open up your trunk and unplug the battery. I already did that but uh yeah and when you unplug the battery make sure you uh get this terminal away from the battery so it won't connect in while you're working on the car so i just have the shirt in my trunk that i'm using to just get it out the way so to unplug the battery i think you're gonna have to use the number 10 the socket number 10 uh, yeah so the socket number 10 is the one that's gonna unplug your battery and then you're gonna need the socket number 10 to open this right here so this things right here take socket 10 just twist them and there's three of them and then just pull right here and I'll come right out and just put it out the way next thing you want to do is lift up your cover it was actually easy to do it without the ca holding camera so I already did it there's just three clips under it let me show you only has like one, two, and three clips. You just pull it, it'll come right out. All right, after you got this out and that out, then you just grab your JB4. And the first thing you just want to do is uh, plug these in, and I'll show you where now exactly now. And then plug those two in, and then basically just put this together with the JB4 somewhere, and then you're good to go. So I had to drop down the garage a little bit because it's actually pretty fucking hot in Bakersfield. As always, all right. So now you guys can see better. So see this plug right here. This is the plug that where your brown wire is gonna go. Let me find that real quick where my brown wire is. See this? A lot of confusion going on. All right. So this is your brown wire. That's gonna go in here. There's only one way you can put it in. So don't worry about putting it wrong. You won't do that. And this is your colorful wire that's gonna go in here right here see this that's where the colorful one is gonna go and that's where the brown wire is gonna go so then you're gonna grab your red wire this one and this one we're gonna connect the red wire all the way right here open this up that's gonna take the T50 that I just showed you guys so open this up with the T50 and just put the wire under it and your blue wire that you have this is your blue wire that's gonna go under this this right here 
this bolt right here, open it. I think that's the T30, or not T30 actually, that's the socket 30. That's gonna take the socket 30, use that, and then just like put this under it, and then you should be able to uh, connect your JB4 and make it working. But to connect to Bluetooth, what you're gonna need is you're gonna you, you're gonna be using this wire. It's gonna look something like this. That comes with the JB4, and you're gonna run this, that wire through that little hole right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's the hole right there. You're gonna run through that wire, and it's gonna go all the way in to your OBD port, and you just connect it. And this wire is gonna connect on your JB4. You should have this little small wire that's gonna connect with the the Bluetooth. You're gonna be able to uh, control the JB4 with your smartphone. that wire is in see this the longer one is in and the longer ones in here and the smaller ones in too all right after that grab your red wire and you're gonna basically put it through like this I just threw it because I don't have enough space but yeah you're gonna hide it under this right here and you open this up like I said, that's gonna take the T50. I already got it loose, so I'm just using my hand. It's actually pretty loose. You don't wanna lose this. Do this and put her under her like that. And just tighten it. I just tighten it with my hand, but I'm gonna I'm tighten a little bit more with the T T50 and then you basically come back here and like i said open this one up with the t30 after this one is loose grab your blue wire put it in like that and just tighten it again i'm using my hand i'm gonna tie this up later on and that's basically it how you uh, that's basically how you tune your car it literally took me like i'd say 10 minutes max but yeah then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab my jb4 and uh, i'm gonna just hide it right here and put the cover back on and my engine cover back on and that's then i'm gonna start the car i'm gonna do that real quick and then i'll show you guys Uh, so yeah, so this is tight. That's how the red wire is gonna look after you're done with them. And this is how your colorful wires are gonna look after you're done with these two. So this the one connection, the other connection is right here in the back, it won't focus. There it is, that's the back one. And this is tight. And I got the wire running, as I told you guys. And that's already in and tight and the, the cover is back on. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna just put the JB4 in a bag, plastic bag, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide it under right here. I'm gonna find a place and hide it under it because JB4 is not uh, fully 100% uh, waterproof. 
So that's why I'm using a plastic bag. You can use whatever you use, zip tie or whatever, or not zip tie, a zipper bag or whatever you guys want to use it. And uh, make sure you use something at least, because like, as I already told you guys, it's not fully waterproof. All right. And after I do this, make sure you go, to, go back to your uh, trunk and plug the battery in. And then you're basically ready to start up the car. So I'm gonna hide this real quick and go back uh, and uh, plug the battery in. And then I'm gonna start up the car and then I'm gonna show you guys what's up, how to connect your uh, the JV4 app with the JV4. So I got that everything back together. JV4 is hidden under that thing. You could see the, the plastic bag coming out, but that's fine. I'm just gonna cover, cover it down, nobody can really tell. This is all secured, that's all secured. Just get things back on. Then you could just close the hood and then you get back in your car. Alright guys, and the car and my hood is still open so it's showing me the hood sign. But yeah, I got the battery cracked and everything's good to go. Then you basically just start up the car. It took a little longer to start up because like my car has been sitting for a long time, like at least two weeks. and. The weather's changing as the colder, yeah. So, no signs on the dash, that's a good sign. All right, after you get this, then you just basically go to App Store and search JB4 Connect. See, this is actually the app, JB4 Mobile. I think this is like, $29.99 or something like that and then you basically just open it after you open it it's gonna connect uh, or I'll disconnect I'm gonna disconnect it and it's gonna come come up like this all right so basically you just press connect and it's connected and I'm running a map one I don't know I'm not sure why wouldn't it these gauges won't go up until my car is actually hot so maybe I think I think uh, what I've heard is like JV4 is not totally all the way on until this this thing moves up a little bit. This this heat gauge, temperature gauge, until your uh, car is not on a certain level or temperature, your JV4 is uh, uh, not working. So um, you shouldn't be pushing the car until your car is a little bit hotter. So yeah, but yeah. Uh, so uh, by this, the map. This is my map one. You have, I think you have like map 8 all the way. I'm going to make another video of, uh, on this. But uh, yeah, this is just a video of how to install it. And uh, yep. And then you basically, my J4 is running. And then you can just start logging, logging whatever you're going to do. I'm going to make another video on this. But yeah, right now, this is it. And yeah, but before you do this, make sure you connect the OBD port, that the wire that came in. Make sure you connect that, the Bluetooth with the OBD port. Or otherwise, it's not going to pick it up. All right. Alright guys, that's it, uh, that's it for today's video. This is that you actually uh, tuned the car with the JV4. And uh, I know it's not a, it's not like really interesting video or anything. I've been doing the DIY videos or FIY videos for a long time. I haven't really done a, a fun a fun video or like where I go do some shenanigans. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to it. I'm gonna start going to the car meets a lot more. I actually bought a new house, so I've been busy with the house and stuff. But yeah, uh, that's it for today's video. And I hope you I hope it helped. If you guys have any question, if you guys want like another help, you can always DM me on my Instagram or you could always leave some comments below. My Instagram is actually uh, in the description uh, right, uh, down below. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, make sure you share, and peace out.